everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a post review. Um, I apologize for the back of the canvas. I have two cats and their hair gets everywhere. Um, okay, I am reviewing Santa Face from Diamond Art Club and the McNeil Studio. This is a 51 by 71 round drill canvas with 40 colors and one AB diamond. Before I get into, oh, I just realized I'm, I lost a diamond here. All right, I'll put that in in a second. Um, before I get into the actual review, I just want to say, <laughs> this is not going to be my typical Diamond Art Club type of review. I absolutely love Diamond Art Club. I've completed many, many, many paintings from them. I don't know the exact exact number off the top of my head, but it has to at least be 20 or more. This is the worst kit that I have completed from them for a couple of reasons. I absolutely love the image. I love this. Um, but I had a lot of issues with it. So it's going to be not your typical, this was a great cat, I loved everything. Yay, Diamond Art Club. <laughs> Still, yay, Diamond Art Club. I love them. Um, and I am an affiliate. I have all of my information down below in the description box. But this was a bear to work on. So I had originally kitted this up in an advent style. So um, if you're over on Instagram, Diamond Junkie hosts a Christmas event, holiday event, I should say every year. Oh, I see another drill that fell off. <laughs> um, where you section off a canvas and you do a little piece every day. So I had sectioned this off that way, but as I kept working on it, it just wasn't an advent style piece. I needed to just keep going on it or I would lose, <laughs> I would lose my mojo and it wouldn't get finished. So uh, the things that I liked, we'll start with. I absolutely love this image. I was so excited to complete this piece this holiday season. Um, it had been on my wish list for a while. And when Diamond Art Club restocked it in October, I jumped right on it. Um, this is just like typical Santa to me. Like this is Santa. I think he's so cute. I love his expression. I love all the shading. I think it rendered really well. Um, and I love the colors. Uh, I love like his the fluff on his jacket. It just looks so great from afar. Um, I thought it was a really nice selection of colors. There were quite a few different shades of red. And some of these colors like there's some purples and magentas that at first I was like how is that gonna work but I think it it looks really nice um I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. there's some background noise uh, my boyfriend is out in the living room playing video games so I apologize for that um but oh, okay let's let's just go for it um, I want to grab a white boat give me one second So, ooh. again, I, I really do love Diamond Art Club, but this kit was not it for me. So this is a, I can't remember what they call it. I think they advertise it as like a wax container from Bella Art Dana Cole. I have a couple of these. I used it for trash drills. Look at all those trash drills. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> Now, this is a pretty standard size kit for Diamond Art Club. Um, and it's, this is kind of like my favorite size. Like I love the 50 by 70 range. And I feel like this is a really excessive amount of trash for this size kit. Now I was really particular about sorting through my garbage drills and just ones that like I dropped. So this is the container that I use 
for all of my drills um, that end up in trash containers or that I just drop because that does happen. So I was very particular about um, separating the two. This is all trash drills. <laughs> so hopefully you can see, I'm gonna pull you guys down a little bit because I'm short and I can't see the camera. Okay, so the biggest issue that I had with these drills was a lot of them had um, holes on the top. I'm hoping you can see. Like, just look at all the ones with the holes on the top. Ugh. So many. Oh my goodness. And um, I had a lot that had either hollow bottoms or like domed bottoms. So they weren't sitting flat on the canvas. So I would place them and then they would start sliding around and I would be like, what is that? And then I would realize that it was domed or hollow in the bottom. I had some that were like stuck together. You can see that one there. Um, I also had some that had just extra pieces, but I would definitely say the biggest culprit was holes in the top. And I'm pretty sure you guys can see that just by looking at this tray of trash drills. So drill quality was rough. Um, and I also had some issues with the poured glue. So it was very like liquidy in places. I, obviously I can't show you that. Um, but it was very, like, it definitely just hadn't cured enough when the clear cover was put over it. Um, so I would actually leave. I was using the Dining Art Club release papers for this one because I had kitted it up um, and set it up as an advent. So I had stickers with numbers and they were all kind of just weirdly placed around the canvas to give it more of that advent style. Um... <sighs> but the glue, yeah, between the glue and the drills, it was a struggle. And that is why I just needed to finish it. I could not, in good conscience to myself, um, do a section every day until Christmas because as much as I love this image, I wasn't loving working on it. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention um, when I was talking about the things that I liked about the canvas was... They were very generous with their ABs. So, oh, I can see two more that I don't have on here. It's so frustrating. Um, yeah, the adhesive was rough. But anyway, the AB drills are great. Um, and generously placed, and I like where they were placed. So up here, there's a whole bunch of the white ABs this is the like fluff of his hat and I thought that that was really nice. I like that they're in his beard. There's one in each of his eyes which I think is cute because I feel like Santa always has that glint in his eyes. Um, but the biggest thing for me with this kit was the drill quality and the poured glue. Just the quality just wasn't there for me which I never thought I would say about a diamond art club but here we are. <laughs> So I do have a couple of drills that I need to go in and replace that have fallen off, um, but that's not a big deal. I plan to frame this. Uh, I don't think I'll get it done for this Christmas, but I would like to frame it and hang it for next Christmas. I know that Diamond Art Club um, recommends not sealing their kits, but seeing as I'm already missing four drills, I'm considering it. I don't seal anything. When I first started diamond painting, I would seal, but I never seal anything anymore, especially diamond art clubs. But again, with this particular kit and this canvas, um, the glue on this canvas, I think I may have to um, seal it. However, I am going to just store it like this for the next year until I bring it out for next Christmas. So maybe by then the glue will have 
cured enough and the drills will just be really stuck in there. So we'll see. Um, uh, if you are new here, I like to share all of the goodies that I used on my completed diamond painting. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll let you guys go. So for wax, in my single placer, I used Not Your Mama's Mud in uh, Tinsel Town, which is like a peppermint. And in my multi placer, I used Randa's Scented Putty in Fall Farmhouse. I wish I had some Christmassy scents in that. <laughs> For my cover minder, I used this really adorable Santa minder. I purchased this through Nika's Designs. Um, she purchases the clays and adds the minder. I do not remember. I actually recently found the actual Etsy store of the creator that makes the clays. And I cannot remember her store off the top of my head, but I will link her Instagram and her store down below because she has so many cute, really cute clays, which, I mean, you could easily purchase a package of magnets off of Amazon and make your own minders, but this one is so cute and was just perfect for this painting. For my tray, I used this green sparkly tray from JH and Vision Lab. And I purchased a pack of their stoppers, and this is just a gold heart. I should have mentioned my Pretty Placer when I mentioned the wax, but this is a Pretty Placer wax crayon. I believe this is in First Snow. Yes, this is one of my first Pretty Placers, and it actually still has the, the smell, which is nice. And then for my pens, I always use a pen from Mad Wood Turnings for my straightener. So this is a green hybrid and I use uh, straighteners from Everlasting Tips. You can see I pulled this one out of another pen and I don't think I needed as much washi tape for this one. So I think this is a six straightener, maybe. And then my pen is from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop, and it is this really adorable green Christmas tree glitter with some red circle glitters. Really pretty. I really enjoyed using this pen. And I normally get four bumps from him, but this, he could only turn this in a three bump, and I really liked the, the size of it. I liked the grip. And if you're interested in seeing the drills, which going a little out of order guys. Um, <laughs> I just finished this kit and I was trying to get my thoughts in my mind so I knew what I was going to say because I was pretty riled up with the kit and you know, I maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm making a bigger deal out of it than it is. I'm in no way bashing Diamond Art Club. Like I've said, I love their canvases. It was just, I got a kit that wasn't great and that's okay. Um, something I did want to mention before was I purchased this in October and I'm not quite sure when they started, um, producing their own drills. So I don't know if I caught like the tail end of whatever manufacturer they were using before they switched over. I don't know how that works. It's not a big deal. I actually had plenty of drills, which I can't believe. Um, I mean, I was getting low because the colors that had all the holes in them, which was a lot of the reds. I was getting pretty low. I thought for sure that I was going to run out of 815, but I actually found an extra bag that I didn't realize I had. So I had plenty of that color. Um, I would say these three reds were questionable. I thought for sure I was going to run out, but I didn't. So that makes me happy. Um, I don't think I'm going to reach out to Diamond Art Club on this kit, um, especially since I would assume that I caught the tail end of the drills that they no longer use, um, and I had enough. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. I love this kit itself. I love the image. Um, I love Christmas. I love Santa. <laughs> so... Uh, I did enjoy it as much as I could with the iffy quality. Um, if you're in any way questioning my love for Diamond Art Club, please go back and watch some of my other post reviews on Diamond Art Club kits. This is the first kit from them that I've felt like, oh, 
that was not great, <laughs> but I still love it. So it is what it is. I'm not upset about it. Um, I will replace the drills that I've lost and this will go get put away and hopefully like having some weight on it will help everything kind of adhere in there. And then next year when I go to frame it for the holidays, it'll be ready to go. So I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for checking out this post review. Um, I hope it doesn't leave you with a bad taste of Diamond Art Club, but I hope it also shows that all companies have those issues every now and then. Um, just gotta stick with them. And I just placed an order for two Diamond Art Club kits yesterday, so <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.